hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're brand new welcome my name is angela if you're returning thank you so much for coming back please don't forget to subscribe like this video and comment down below before you leave so today we're going to be doing a cut crease a sunset a brown sunset um cut crease tutorial so first things first we're going to use our la girl pro conceal in the shade light ivory to conceal our eyelids and i'm going to blend that in with my concealer brush the next thing i'm going to go in with my color studio eyeshadow palette and i'm going to go in with that yellow shade and we're actually going to use that yellow shade as a transition shade So what we're going to do is we're going to blend, 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 blend until we feel like we've intensified the yellow. And as you can see in the video, I am blending towards the outer or like outwards of my eye. And now I'm going back into my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be going in with that orange shade. And I'm going to mix it with the yellow shade. We're just creating that sunset vibe like I said in the beginning of the video and I'm just going to intensify the orange as well um, making sure that I blend 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 blending is very important now it's time to add our brown shade and with the brown shade I would advise that you work slowly and carefully don't forget to take your time with blending because um, it's very easy to mess it up because the brown is slightly darker so it could literally make or break your your eyeshadow look so take it take it easy take your time and blend 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 and as you're blending don't forget to also intensify the other the colors as well because you don't want it to look very light you want to make sure you intensify as much as you can so now it's time to cut our crease so i didn't really show you guys the whole process of me cutting my crease so if you haven't watched any of my makeup tutorials i will link them up here and then you'll probably see me cutting my crease in depth but right now i just sped it up and i'm going to set that um concealer with a new shade from the very same eyeshadow palette that i was using and as you can see i've used the orange the yellow and the brown on as like a liner so the very same way you would apply in your liquid liner i use those three shades as the liner right so a powder liner and i think it looks kind of cute so i did not show you how i did the other eye and obviously i've applied my lashes off camera um now we're going to do our face and i'm going in with my scarlet hill primer i love this primer you guys it mattifies my face especially now that it's hot so i've been using it quite often and i like to go in with my rose water as well and i'm just going to spritz that on my face so for foundation i'm using the maybelline 24 hours super stay for coverage foundation um i forgot what shade i'm in but i am going to leave all the details in the description box below um and then i'm just gonna blend 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 that foundation in oh and guys if you feel like i went too quickly with the eye makeup tutorial please go back and just try and listen to the steps all over again but i literally did the same thing on the other eye as well so moving on i'm going to be highlighting the highest point of my face using my la girl pro conceal in the shade light ivory once again and i usually highlight the and uh the underneath my eyes my forehead the bridge of my nose my chin and my cupid's bow area and i contour with my colors limited foundation stick that i got from fashini i'll leave all the products that i've used in the description box below when i cream contour i like to use this product so after that i'm just going to blend everything in So I'm going to go in with my contour and glow palette that I got from Scarlet Hill um, and I'm going to go in with one of those brown shades to set that contour. Guys, don't forget to set your concealers, your foundation, just don't forget to set. Right. As you can see, I first set my, uh, my contour, then I went in to blend in that 
uh, concealer that was underneath my eyes simply because I wanted to leave it on a little longer for the full coverage effect and I also set it with so immediately after I blend it out I like to set it with my uh, setting powder because I don't want to crease um, yeah I'm setting with my setting powder that I got from shop miss a um, and then I'm just gonna dust that off I love the setting powder guys Yo, I really do hey um, so next I am contouring my nose using the very same contour and glow palette that I got from mr. price and I'm going to uh, use this Catrice blush um, to <laughs> put some blush on my cheeks um, I use very minimal blush because it could quickly turn into a a mess okay so use it sparingly next I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and I'm gonna highlight my face the highest points of my face which is my cheekbones um, the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow there's nothing I enjoy like putting on highlighter you guys then I'm going to sit with um, my rose water as always and then as you can see um, I'm using my LA girl lip liner in the shade chocolate and I'm going to use my Scarlet Hill pucker up lip gloss or liquid lipstick in the nude shade and I like mixing those two that is my killer combo if you don't know that already that means you're not a regular so please do subscribe don't forget to subscribe before you leave like this video and leave me a comment down below um yeah i love that combo as you can see it's turning out amazing like it looks amazing hey um as you can see i was having a good time <laughs> so i'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes trust me if you put mascara on your bottom lashes you're going to look more awake and um yeah i'm just gonna do that sorry that you guys couldn't see that properly but that was literally just about it nothing more nothing less you know um yeah this look was it i really ate it up so you can also eat it up if you follow all the steps <laughs> that i gave to you from the beginning so like i said in the video if you feel like i went to quickly just go back and listen to the steps all over again and you will get it don't forget to subscribe like this video and leave me a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye